Hello, DJ Vic Baber with you. Logic Pro 10 Beginners Course, and let's take a look at the Drummer Editor and get a little bit more in detail with that. We've kind of browsed over it in previous lessons, and I gave you a quick overview, but let's take a closer look at the Drum Editor. So to get that guy involved with our project, we want to click New Tracks. We want to go to Drummer to add a drum track and hit Create. Now, right away you see what happens here with Logic Pro, what it does for us, let me move this out of the way, is it creates two 8-bar regions for our drum track. And they're a little different. It's like an intro and then it builds up a little bit through here. Let's take a listen to it. So you see it goes through like a little intro and then it gives a little fill right in here and then it rolls out into like another vert, uh, verse or uh, section there for you. But that's how it comes in as soon as you add the track. So what do we got here? We've got a channel strip with a bunch of different effects on it. Our drum machine up here, drum machine designer, and different ways that those sounds are being affected. Now this isn't by any means permanent. We can go in and change and do whatever we want to that. But for this lesson, we're not really going to focus on that. I just want to show you how that channel strip is set up. What we're going to take a look at is we've got Magnus here, and they give you a little brief idea of what Magnus is going to attempt to do for us. He's going to do a thunderous electro house beat, complement anthemic synth leads and bass drops. Now we can change from big room to radiant, and let's take a listen and see what that. Now it's only going to be because I have this first part selected, it's only what we're changing here is only going to affect that. Well, let's audition kind of both. We're in Radiant, Big Room. So a little bit different, something to pay attention to down there. Over here, we've got presets. And again, it's only going to affect what area, whatever area I have selected. It's not going to affect this second area unless I select that as well. So I'm going to drop our loop back to the first section. And let's listen to some different presets here. This is going to be Glow Stick, Anthem. You can kind of see the changes happening up here. And again, you can see it's only affecting that region. The second region is unaffected. So essentially, it's still going to play that region if we allow it. It's just not going to be part of the euphoric preset sound. So you kind of get the idea there's different starting points of presets for you to work with here. Let's say within that preset, let's tell Magnus that we want to make some adjustments on how he plays. Right now he's playing towards the loud side. We can say we want it loud and complex. And you can see the waveform updating up there. Now it's a loud and complex sound. Let's just say we want to turn down the loud and just go complex. We can just say Magnus just go soft. Or we can say that Magnus just plays simple. And again, you know, you can kind of dial that in any way you want. I'll leave it in the, you know, let's leave it a little over this way. And we've only affected that particular region. So we've got our preview here. So let's say we select this guy. I can just preview and solo that particular section. And again, we can make some adjustments. 
adjustments as we see fit for it. We can move over here and work on percussion. This is updating the percussion. We can add more fills. the hi-hat to more of an open close and then they have like the shaker there can add a little swing if we don't like the swing hear that close hi-hat come in there eighth notes, sixteenth notes. We can also go down here and affect how our kick drum, we can turn it off, turn off the tom or snare, and the clap. We can isolate those individually. We can modify how we want those played. And that's a quick overview of the drum editor in Logic Pro 10. Let's move on to our next lesson.